Nepal. Last week, David and Charlotte picked a fabulous day to Nepal. However, by the time you got to the airport, it was clear that things weren't going according to plan. Well, we're on our way to Nepal now, Charlotte. Waiting for the United. It's never turned off. Looks like it's a blind date for one. Dear Charlotte, well, here I am in Nepal, and these are some of the things you've missed. First of all, we visited some fantastic temples. Sadly, the weather just wasn't as I planned. Well, as you can see, this is the monsoon season. Raining, heaven's open, just like Yorkshire Dales. <laughs> but don't worry, Charlotte, if you'd have come, I'd have carried your brolly for you. <laughs> I mean, there's just so many amazing things to see. Um, every which way you turn, there's something different, so... It's a shame for you to miss out, Charlotte, really. Then, I was off to the jungle, where I met a cracking local girl. Her name was Pearl. Good for you, go. It's the first female I've got to do what I want to do. And after that, we were off rhino hunting. Absolutely brilliant. Yes! So. <laughs> and to top all that, it meant one last trip and I had to get up very, very early. It's uh, 6.15 in the morning. Fingers crossed, we'll get to see Everest. Now, there is this fancy guide that they've given us and unfortunately I just can't make out which mountain's which at the moment. believe we're on the top of the world. I can see the roof. This is just incredible. Seeing Everest was the highlight of a wonderful trip. It's just a pity you weren't here to see it with me, Charlotte. All my love, David. P.S. At least I think I've got myself a gorgeous dinner date for tonight. Well, this has been such a perfect date, the perfect setting, and you've been the perfect company. Here's to you, Pearl. Data, David from North Yorkshire. Come in, David! David's the first person who's ever gone on a blind date alone. <laughs> so where did it all go wrong? Shall we find out? <laughs> the reason's a picture, Charlotte. She's sounding lively, fun, and a great person to go on a date with. If I was to join the circus, uh, I'd have to be an acrobat, because when you see my long limbs and my supple body, your heart is sure to do somersaults, and I'd bend over backwards to give you the perfect date. <laughs> Immediately after leaving the set, I started to realise something was wrong. Um, Charlotte said she was very nervous about going all the way to Nepal. I tried to reassure her. Um, I said we'd go and buy some books, read all about the place, check up on all, you know, what she was nervous about. Uh, I started to realise then uh, something was fairly seriously wrong. I'm going to trek through the jungle. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I hope. 
Have you brought your pumps with you? Platforms, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I wear. You wear platforms all the time. In the jungle. <laughs> well, this is going to be interesting, <laughs> isn't it? After that, Charlotte and I went for a meal. We went for a few drinks afterwards. She seemed very relaxed about the situation. And we got on really well. Um, we went back to the hotel the next morning. I rung her room, see if she wanted to go for some breakfast. She said, yes, fine. And the next thing I, I knew, she'd checked out and gone. <laughs> um, I even let it be known that I'd swap dates with Paul and Nicola and go to Scotland with Charlotte. Um, she said no, she didn't want to go. I ended up going to Nepal on my own, and I never saw Charlotte again. <laughs> That's the last we saw, anyway, of Charlotte, didn't we, David? That's it, that's it, yeah. I mean, what was it like going on a date all on your own, all the way to Nepal? What was it like? The, the place was just fantastic. I mean, the, the whole setting is, is, is just incredible. Um, sadly, she's missed out on a great experience, and uh, I'd just like to say a big thank you to everybody for going. It was just oh, fantastic. What a nice I mean, it takes two to make a date. I mean, do you think you would have had a better time with Charlotte? Well... <laughs> <laughs> well, they've made their minds up. What do you think, Dave? Sadly, I'll never get to know, because I didn't actually get to know Charlotte. You know, I mean, like I said before, she's missed out on a fantastic <laughs> year. And there's nothing I can do about it. It's just one of them things. What do you think was going through Charlotte's brain? It can't have really been the, the you know, the platform shoes that she was no. wearing all the time. Um, you know, she, she was actually nervous of flying all the way to Nepal, and I think, like, the injections and, like, the thoughts of going in the jungle yes, and... Yes, but Sky, you see, you offered but, swap with yeah, Sky. I'll let it be known um, that I would swap the dates. Um, obviously, I, did, I came on blind date to go with somebody, like I said earlier, and... Uh, I wouldn't want her to come on the date and be unhappy. You know, it's not where you go, it's who you go with. So, she... Uh, it's just her loss and it's one of them things. Have you ever been stood up before? <laughs> well, silly, if it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. I I think we've all been jilted at, at some time and just happens that mine were on national TV. <laughs> This is it. It's been done on, on national television. You, I think it's a terrible shame. Are you still looking for love? I don't think you, you should be, because he is gorgeous, lady. Yeah! Oh, thank you. Yeah! Has it put you off trying to find romance and the perfect girl for you? Um, no, no. It hasn't put you off? No, no, no. Oh, uh, I'm still looking, that... and if there's anybody out there like one of you... So oh, there's yes, there is there. <laughs> oh, have you got a message for Charlotte? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm really sorry you missed out on a fantastic date, but all the best for the future and no hard feelings, eh? Aww. Well, David, well done. And Charlotte, if you're watching, well, I'm so sorry, cos you've missed out on an incredible guy. <laughs> yeah. I think we better take another break right now, but we will be back to meet the lucky lad, hopefully he is lucky, who has to choose one of these three gorgeous girls. Come in the door.